series of small yeses, okay, that leads to the big yes at the end. Hello and good morning. Have you ever said to yourself, man, if I could just get more students or gosh, if I had more leads coming on in, everything would be different. You know what? You're not alone if this is something that you've said. And today we're going to be taking a look at the four steps to getting people from request to yes. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name's Joanne Kaminsky. I've been tutoring online since 2010 and helping other online tutors be able to get found, hired, and referred. My goal is to take tutors or teachers that are already great at what they do, but the only thing that's standing in their way is how to get found so that people can hire them, right? And you can finally stop stressing about having a sustainable business. Even if you want to replace your income, you have the opportunity to do that with online tutoring when you put the right pieces in place. So if you like content like this, please hit that like and that subscribe button and keep staying tuned. So the four steps from request to yes are respond to the request in the way that they spoke out to you in the first 24 hours. Two, invite them to a free assessment or consultation. Three, have the sales conversation right after the free assessment or the sales conversation. And step four is don't leave that sales conversation without getting to this last step. Find a time. So here's the cool part, you guys. Two of these things are done prime, like at the same time. Actually, you invite them to the free assessment, right? And then I have them fill out a form. On that form, I have all their information, including days and times that work for them for tutoring so that I can easily like look at that information ahead of time as well. And then I tell them after you fill out the form, I'm going to give you the Zoom link. So this is an incentive. Now, not during any piece of this, I'm not actually asking them to move forward with me, right? So I'm responding to their request. I'm not saying, okay, let's get started right now, right? It, I'm taking time, a series of small yeses, okay? That leads to the big yes at the end. So nothing I ask them to do is very difficult. The first thing I ask them to do is answer a question. Like, is your child struggling more with phonics or comprehension? The second yes is to the free assessment or the consultation. Then we hold it, right? And so each, I'm, I'm building trust with them as we go through this process. Then we move into that sales conversation, right? Where they've already made a series of, of small yeses. They filled out the form, which was a small yes. And now I'm asking for the big yes at the very end. So little yeses, little steps that you ask them to take, they actually follow through. Now, will some people kind of drop off at, at, at one point? Sure. You know, there's times where I message somebody back and then they never email me back again. I message them again. They still never email me again. And that's okay, right? Because you want people who can follow through on these small series of yeses. If they don't follow through, it is not your fault. But you do need to make sure that you follow through and uh, reach back on out in a month again. You know, reach on out that day in a week, in a month. That's about, that's all you need to do. If, if, if you've reached out those three times and they're still not responding to you, you can let it go and be like, okay, for whatever reason, maybe they already found somebody else or they've decided this isn't a good fit at this time. That's okay. You know, let it go. Never be like, oh, I'm a little bit nervous that I might be bothering them. They reached out to you, right? So, it's not like you're cold calling, right? That That's a scary process. Um, you, they've reached out to you, 
And so now you're just being, uh, you're being at this point, somebody that is running a strong business. And that's what you guys are. You're Even though we're professional freelance tutors, you have a strong business. And you want to come off as being confident, likable, and competent. <laughs>